2012 and 2013. Yeah. Sabi ko kasi, I was a judge po nung uh, panahon ni Ara sa Binibining uh, Pilipinas. Uh, take me to that moment, lalo ni Kao Janine, kasi during the finals of the 2013 Miss Universe, 2012, 2012 mm -hmm. Miss Universe, kayo na lang ang natira ni Olivia Culpo. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Yes po. Take us there, yung naghahawakan kayo ng kamay, what was it like? Um, actually po, Tito Boy, that time, talaga majority ng naramdaman ko, I thought I was gonna win. Of course, like you, you hope for that. You want of that. Course. Of course. You, so a part of me thought I was going to because Q and A. I, I think I did pretty well. You so, nailed it. Yeah. yeah. So so that time, yes, I thought I was going to win. But then when I wasn't announced, it was okay. I was still happy. At least I made it, you know, set up to. But I wasn't nervous anymore. I was just like, you know, finally, I it's done. I did my part. I did everything I can, and then okay now. You, you're both very prayerful. Yes. Uh -oh. You are. <laughs> sabi nga ng aming writer, you, you're women of faith. Gaano kalaki ang papel ng dasal sa inyong journey to the crown? Ako dito, boy, ma-share ko lang mabilisan. I wouldn't be in Binibini without that prayer because I really asked for a sign if I'm gonna continue Binibini. Kasi, di ba, I came from Miss Earth and then I didn't win and then parang opportunities came. People would ask me to join Binibini and I didn't see myself really joining Binibini until I really pray for this sign na if this guy would approach me, which is si Jonas nga, and then he literally approached me. Yeah, okay. then he literally approached me. I got goosebumps and that's really the prayer I asked for. And then then sabi ko, okay, there's no turning back. God gave me the sign. I really have to do it. And then God uh, guy God. <laughs> oh, oh talagang nagdasal. Pero there's also a story. Was that you where, where was Miss Universe for you? Russia. Moscow, Russia. Moscow. Pero totoo ba na ang ipinagdasal mo ay sana hindi ka magbuckle sa Q&A? That's true. Tell well. us a story. <laughs> That's true as well, Tito Boy. Actually, so binibini, my really hope is to be top 15. Goal ko na yun. Masayang-masaya na ako. And then it just so happened, top 15 in binibini. I was the first one who got announced and I was like really praying na Lord Miss Universe, Miss Universe. Until I got the Miss Universe title. And then going to Miss Universe, so hindi pa ako natatawag Tito Boy sa semi-finalist, right? I was the last one to be called. And I was like, Lord, just make it, make it, um, uh, parang help me to be on the top 15. Dedere-derecho yung kato hanggang top 5. And literally that happened. Top 5, I forgot to pray about Lord, give me Miss Universe. Because ang prayer ko was, Lord, sana hindi ako magbakel sa Q&A. <laughs> Which is, binigay naman talaga sa akin ni Lord. Like, hindi na talaga ako nagbakel, di ba? Ako oh, pa oh. nga yung nag-iisang nag-English. Oh, oh. <laughs> Despite of all the bashing. Yes. So, and then yun, dun ko talaga napatunayan na you really have to really hold on to that prayer. At saka minsan, you have to be really specific. specific. Yes. Di ba? Yes. At lumabas dun ang pagka-chemist mo. <laughs> diba? I mean, you know, you're cute. I, I think you also performed very well. Kaya, prayer. How, how, how much of prayer uh, was in that journey? For me po, as in 100%, um, I have a very, very strong faith ever since I was little. And I, I always say this to anyone, like, I can live most probably with, without so many things, but I cannot live a life without Jesus. It's really the life that I know I meant to live, like believing in Him. So, if my life is without Him or I don't believe in Him or I don't pray, then for me that's not a life at all. So for me, it's really, really important. Every decision I make or talaga may dasal. Talaga po may dasal talaga. Kailangan talaga siya sa akin. Totoo ba na nung dumating ka sa Las Vegas kasama ang mami mo? Nakita niyo si Olivia Culpo, mm -hmm. who was Miss U uh, Miss, Miss USA. USA during the time. Sabi niya anak yan ang makakalaban mo. Yes, well, my mom is. Talaga? Yes, like, I don't know what's with my mom, but she's like that. She would say, she just told me, like, it's going to be you and USA in top two. And it wasn't even prelims then. It wasn't even the closed door interview. It's just like, she was just there watching. It was, it's going to be you and Olivia Hope and Miss USA in top two. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. She's, she's good at those things for some reasons. So. Let's talk about life after, you know, Miss mm -hmm. Universe. Uh, Kumusta? You went into modeling. Yes, well, I went to, to the U.S. To, to do modeling and I stayed there for 10 years and now I'm back. <laughs> but yes, I, yes. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the U.S. I enjoyed all my experiences there. It was pretty tough, especially starting with papers and everything. It, was, it wasn't an easy uh, road, even though I had, I had the, type, the Miss Universe first runner-up. It wasn't easy, but I really love it. It I was not easy. It was not. New York is never easy, but it's fun. It is. I love New York. <laughs> <laughs> New York is good.